Well, welcome back to the Media Dimension, where the fun times roll. Alright, I think I'm finally starting to see the bright side to playing this game. You have to just be an optimist and... Oh, what? I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I was playing the series of unfortunate events games. Shoot, what were we playing again? Crap, it's Aquaman! No! Actually, this time I'm gonna actually steal a bit from Misery Meyer, but you'll see a little bit later. Let's start. Shoot, well... Ugh. Gotta keep download. Sorry. Ugh, a little out here. Mission 7. Ugh. I'm not happy about this. Garth, what have you discovered? I'm sorry, I spotted Mantis Fleet. Great. Enormous battle cruiser. The Leviathan. Ominous. Okay, largest sub I've ever seen. This big. Uh, my hands are pretty far out. Ha! Da, 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 da. Kind of reminiscent there of uh, Blaster Master. Target Atlantis and fire! I want to see the city in ruins. Zap zap! Pew pew! Pew pew! Pow pow pow! Sorry, getting carried away here. Engage the enemy's sub and I'm going to stop the Leviathan. The fleet! Spinning Atlantean coin. Ooh, ah. Destroy the Leviathan. Well, that looks easy. Don't tell me that giant thing is Leviathan. So it's another sub level. Command tower is shielded. Take out the yellow power generators. Oh god, I'm under fire. So it takes a little while to learn all the controls here. In fact, this is like my seventh time playing this level. Um, ah, I'm taking too much hits. Too much hits. So this is after like a couple rounds of, you know, uh, learning how shit works. But you got missile attacks. You got your little pea shooter here. And the upper left hand there is your life gauge. If you're not careful, you go boom. Pretty simply, the yellow power-ups give up back health. The, uh, ooh la la, let's get rid of this thing. Purple ones refill your missiles there. I'm gonna hit this thing dead on. Ow! Touching ship is bad. Go up here in a minute if I don't get the hell out of here. Oh boy. So, right there is the yellow shield generators it told me to take out. The bottom half actually is easier, but right now I am so out of health that it might be my death sentence. I cannot hit these things that easily. You know what's worse is it's taking me so long to get to this point, I don't even remember if this is how the uh, ship levels were last time. That's a little bit more health. There we go. Let's take out some of this bottom part of the ship. I do find it helpful to get rid of the uh, turrets because, well, you're going to be here for a while. And stopping things from shooting at you is nice. The purple shield generators? I don't know what they do. I, I, I'm not sure at all. They might take out, like, stop these little buggers that are flying around me. But, like, I never got to the point where I needed to take them all out. Focus the turrets. I'm already out of missiles. Whoa. Okay, let's see what we can find. Where is Slippy when you need a uh, distraction here, huh? Okay, let's see. Oop. Why is on my tail there? There we go. Yeah, I just said I didn't, like, learn what happens if you take all the purple generators out. That doesn't mean I didn't try. Okay, let's go topside. Kind of hard to fly and maneuver and... Oh, boy. I believe the L button is what speeds you up. The A button's fire. The B is the missiles. If you buy this game... Poor, poor fool, number one. Number two, make sure you get the manual. Because, like, 
I've been pretty adamant at pointing out here, this game doesn't tell you jack when you get it. In the game, at least. So you end up having to really rely on the manual. Like, I'm almost positive all these instructions are in there. Oop. There is no magnetic pull in this version, so... In this mode, ah! I think I picked it up anyway. I did not! There we go. Mind the fact that I'm driving like a maniac to pick up health expansions. There goes another one. I'm almost dead. This is not good. Ah. Did that thing. I missed that thing, right? Got a turret. There we go. It's nice that, you know, friendly fire is not, like, turned on. I think all my Atlantean pilots would be dead. Which might explain why they don't help me in any other, uh, level. Here I think they're actually indispensable, because I swear sometimes if you go looking around, you can actually find health packs and stuff lying around out here. Which means, like right there, I didn't kill that thing, but I think it left the health pack. Round and round we go. Got it. But you did not get enough health for that. There's another one. Yeah. Ah, I overshot it. I am really bad at picking these things up in air. And I'm going to miss it. Oh, got it. Okay. Get some missiles. Wow, that actually restores all your missiles. Yeah, honestly, whenever I picked up missiles, I just fired to my heart's content until it said I was out. Not quite done yet. Oh no! Bogey on my tail. In case you're wondering, you cannot do a barrel roll or a uh, U turn. Or maybe you can, I don't know. This game doesn't tell you anything. Let's see, I'm looking for one more. I don't see it up here. Which means down we go into the earth. Still technically it's the earth, so I'm right. Okay, it's got to be underneath here somewhere. It's right there. You can barely see it. The lock-on feature does help pretty well. There we go. The command tower is down. Pick up some more missiles I didn't need. Kind of need help. Missiles! Ugh. Screw it, you know, we're gonna try to get up the tower on our own. That giant thing right there is the command. Oh! I'm almost dead. And this thing's got a lot of health. Oh boy. Might as well fire all the missiles, right? Oh, uh, don't tell me that yellow bar is... The red bar is probably going to be the end of it. Fortunately, I'm getting a bit too anxious. I need some health. Now. Ah, now I really need health. Abort! Abort! Shoot, this is gonna be bad. If I die now, I'm gonna be crying for like a week. Get away from me! Did I kill that turret? Do they respawn after a while? Entered rapid fire panic mode. Oh, 
Thinking I missed it, seeing that it dropped that. Like I said, you can tell I didn't learn that they replenish all your missiles by picking up one back. There we go. You know what? Ah, you bloody deep bearing pain in the butt. Come on, I just want one more health. I just want like a ring of health before going up. There we go. Doesn't give me my ring, but you know what? I'm gonna say okay. Uh, er, uh, sorry. Screw it. Let's go. And I'm out of juice. Luckily, the green bar recharges on its own, huh? Here we go. Back up. Oh no, the British does have one more life. Ooh, lucky me, health pack. This game must know I'm pissed off at it, and if it wants to live, it better give me what I want. There we go, the Leviathan going down in flames. Or, uh, underwater, wait, what, huh? Underwater flames? SpongeBob physics. Actually, can't have explosions underwater. I just shouldn't have said flames. And I skipped all of that. Sorry. I, I I don't care anymore. finished episode 6. I couldn't help but think that this really wasn't half bad. I mean, the level was pretty much a defense, defend the base style of level where screwing up the number of baddies and design could have easily led to the level being just impossible, or at the very least, very frustrating. But, with admittedly liberal use of the aquatic life, I actually found it quite nice, and I had uh, plenty of time to spare, so on that fact, I actually want to give it a lot of credit. I also, for some reason, I don't even know what the hell this was. Probably just guessing, but, uh, 
I kind of had a feeling a sub-level was coming up. Partly, I think I was guessing since the box does spoil how many of those sub-levels and total levels are in this game. I kind of thought we were heading for another one. Now I was thinking with that fact, there's almost no way this game could lose to Catwoman on this. Well, let's see, I think they screwed it up though. I'm not sure if I'm at it this level because I found it hard, but I would like to point out that overall, I did not care for it. It's a bit too dark, trying to find the damn yellow uh, generators can just be a hassle. Uh, sometimes the, the controls aren't terrible, but I think the missiles could have done with a bit more of an oomph to them. They're kind of a little bit weak. Um, also, sometimes the AI controlling your friends are a bit better, and sometimes they're just idiots. Um, but overall, I didn't care for this level. I think the difficulty spike between this and level 6 is just ridiculous. That said, Catwoman's fourth level is the nightclub, and it's a bit of the opposite of this, as this is dark. The, the nightclub's a bit more colorful, at least in the beginning part of it, and, well, let's face it, this is actually probably one of my more favorite levels of Catwoman. I almost got sick there. But yeah, on a good, <laughs> a decent uh, curve here, um, it's bright, it's colorful, and it also includes a boss fight, which might be one of the only quotation marks, enjoyable parts in Catwoman. Yeah, I'll say that. I, I really don't totally hate the boss fights. They can be kind of interesting. Uh, they give you a life bar, you pound the hell out of the guy. He calls in goons to shoot you, but the shooting mechanics of this game suck, so they can't hit the broadside of the barn. Actually, they can't hit the broadside of two barns. So, you don't really have to worry about them. They, they can be kind of dumb, and you can get behind them and smack this guy around a bit. Favorite thing to do, though? Throwing objects at him. That never gets old. And this is probably my least favorite of the boss fights. Um, even with that, though, I think I'm going to give this point to Catwoman. This is leaving Catwoman with a huge advantage of 3 to 1. I hope Aquaman can catch up a bit.